Hi, this is Terry from Palomar College. Today I'd like to do a quick intro to the Google Public Data Explorer. It's a great tool from uh, Google Labs uh, that allows you to take uh, visualized looks at large amounts of data provided by public uh, data sources. And uh, the home page uh, you can see from my address bar is uh, www.google.com slash public data slash home and uh, on the home page there's a uh, visualization for you just to get a feel for what it's like. Uh, let me quickly describe this. The x-axis shows life expectancy at birth, the y-axis fertility rates per woman, and the, the legend shows uh, different uh, areas of the globe, Sub-Saharan Africa, East Asia, and so forth. And that's what the col colors represent in the chart. The size of the bubbles in this chart represent total population uh, for each country. So let's go ahead and click the little play button and take a look at this data from 1960 to the present, or as uh, recent as they have uh, data. And you can see significant movement among the bubbles on this chart uh, up through 2008. And hovering over any of those charts will show us that uh, Japan has a life expectancy at birth of 82.59 years, a total population of 127 million, a uh, fertility rate of 1.34 and over time you saw the fertility rate drop life expectancy expand okay this is an embedded visualization from this site uh, real exciting a great way to show it off to see it in more detail click the little explore data link and here's that same visualization a little bit larger and now we can talk about some of the controls with this product uh, the first thing you'll notice is that uh, there are uh, countries you can check to select. If we wanted to look at just Afghanistan, we could click the Afghanistan uh, link in the countries and hide all of the non-selected bubbles. Okay, so now the chart just shows us Afghanistan. Life expectancy there is significantly shorter, uh, almost half of what it is in Japan, and we can play it over time and we can see it uh, even though it is short it is expanded but fertility rates have not gone down okay that's slightly interesting until very recently okay um, we can clear Afghanistan and see all of our bubbles once again check Afghanistan and see it alone uh, just like that real simple okay um, there are four types of charts you can see line charts there's the overall world there's just the world and Afghanistan and let's throw Japan in here now to see a, a real difference and there's the fertility rate and uh, we could show any other of these factors on this axis here's a bar chart a bar chart showing all of the countries. Um, here's a map chart. Not too useful, but it's easy to manipulate to make it useful. And our, f our bubble chart. But this is just showing us fertility rate now. What we need to show is fertility rate and life expectancy at birth on the x-axis. Okay, so did you see how I changed that axis? The y-axis is fertility rates the x-axis with this drop down is life expectancy. Now the colors are not very useful here but we can color it by region and now we notice that the sub-Saharan African group, the orange bubbles, um, are significantly grouped uh, to the left on the x-axis from the other countries. Okay. We can also change uh, the size of the bubbles based on 
fertility rates or based on life expectancy or any of these other factors as you can see. Okay, and let's play this over time and you can watch the visualization change over time. Very, very interesting. And we can go in and make a few choices. United States, and you notice the label for United States. You can drag these labels around anywhere you want. There's our Japan. There's our Afghanistan. Let's grab Rwanda. There's something very interesting about Rwanda. And um, let's just add uh, another country we're curious about, let's say Italy. And let's see how their life expectancy and fertility rates compare uh, when we hide all the non-selected bubbles. Okay, there they are. Let's take our visualization play arrow back and run it over time. Okay, very interesting. Wait a minute. Look at that. Did you see what happened to Rwanda? Life expectancy there is 6.37 years in 1992 and it even goes less uh, in 93 and then moves back up slightly um, and of course that was the genocide in Rwanda at that time. Now the reason that disappeared just now is I uh, clicked on it. You can make selections. Let me Let me clear all of these selections and just by clicking on bubbles you can, if you want to see Turkmenistan, I can click on it and just see Turkmenistan, Iraq, and Jamaica for example and play them. Uh, so those are the four types of charts, the line chart, the bar chart, map chart, and bubble chart and uh, let me show you the rest of the data if you click on the home page it doesn't actually take you home, it takes you to the directory. Let's go home though, and to get to the directory you'll click here on directory, and these are all the data providers. And you'll notice there's quite a few of them. Uh, it goes from the most general to the most uh, specific here. Uh, if we wanted to look at the historical population of the US, for example, we would choose that data provider, click on population, and let's once again take a look at a bubble graph and they're not very meaningful now so let's go ahead and color it by population and let's size it by population too so you see how that's done so the most populous states have um, uh, the redder color towards the red end of the spectrum the least populous uh, the blue colors and let's play it over time from 1900 and then we'll see um, that all of a sudden in the 30s something really significant starts to happen 30s and 40s with this bubble on the end here and of course that's California as you hover over it you can see that uh, these other states that grew rapidly are Texas and Florida no surprise there New York uh, grew fairly um, consistently and then stopped so let's just uh, take a look at those four areas. I'm going to click each one of them. So we select them and now let's play them over time. Got our labels on there and there's 1941, the beginning of World War II, after the Depression, after the Dust Bowl, and California really takes off. Flourishing of the movie industry, uh, all of the things that and you can see it would uh, be a great way to start a class discussion in sociology, history, statistics uh, about why these things have happened. Uh, immigration law, obviously, and so on. You can adjust these labels to show population density. On this axis, California is still the most populous, but by far, uh, where District of Columbia is the densest and we can color it in fact by population density okay as you can see or size it by population density and that's real significant okay we can choose the district of columbia well, we can clear all of our selections here choose the district of columbia and show it historically and you'll notice that the density goes up very significantly 
in around 1950 and then shrinks fairly rapidly with the shrinking of the federal government. <laughs> you can show that on a bar chart. And the, the District of Columbia, you can see 1950 was the apex and then uh, government most likely uh, the density of the population in DC is related to the size of government. You could make that argument and have that discussion in class and it rises steadily from the first Roosevelt administration until the Truman administration and has shrunk ever since very consistently. So you can see the kind of things you can do with this product and there are just all sorts of um, data sets and it is even possible to upload your own data to this uh, service. So I hope you take a look at it. I think you might find it really interesting for your classes. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.